So what did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, this is a question I like to ask of a lot of my guests on this program, as you may know. But few of them are going to know the answer as well as our next guests, uh, Mira and Jason Calton. Uh, welcome to the program. You, got, you. you guys Thanks know your us. food really, really well. <laughs> we know ingredients lists. You know? Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about some of these preservatives, Jason, to start off with. Yeah, let's start with the dangerous preservatives. So BHA, BHT, TBHQ, this is what you're going to look for on the ingredient <laughs> list. These are synthetic preservatives made out of petroleum. Now, food manufacturers love to put them in the food so that consumers like us can't tell when the food's going rancid. But the real problem with this is the National Institute of Health says that BHA is reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. State of California says it is a human carcinogen. These preservatives are banned in the UK and in Japan, but as you can see here, they're in a lot of foods here in America, a lot of foods that really are kid foods, like these cereals, huh. these bubble gums, these crackers. What, what is this next, <laughs> next stuff here? I'll take it, it's a mouthful, azodicarbonamide. Azodicarbonamide. Exactly. Yeah. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> right. And it's actually not just potentially dangerous, it's kind of disgusting because it's actually used in foam plastics most often. Really? So it's what is made the sole of your sneaker, your yoga mat, all made up of azodicarbonamide. And yet it's in all of these baked goods and bread. And it's an asthma causing allergen that's been banned all over the world in the EU, Australia. And if you use it in Singapore, you can go to jail for up to 15 years and get a, I think, half a million dollar fine. So they know that this is not some good stuff and it's not used in any of those other countries. This is a castorium. <laughs> yeah. Castorium, again, one of these names, but this is naturally, this it's is natural. All natural. Yeah, this isn't going to be a dangerous ingredient. It's just maybe a little too natural for some people. Let's talk about it. So if you've eaten anything with natural vanilla, raspberry, or strawberry flavoring at any time, you've probably gotten some of this. It comes from the castor sacks of a beaver. This is located in the beaver butt region, okay? So it's okay. like a brown molasses secretion that it puts out so it, it, to uh, go ahead and put its scent, scent out, out there so people know where, where, it, where it is. I don't know who was the first people to take some of that brown stuff and put it on food, but it must taste pretty good because we use over a thousand pounds of it in this country every single year. Now again, this is all natural but it's just maybe too natural for me. From the beaver's yes. butt yeah. parts, as yes. you say. Yes, I mean, have you ever eaten ice cream again since you, since you learned that? I look for, I wanted to say natural vanilla bean or natural flavors, strawberry, natural raspberry, not just natural flavors. Is it harder for you to eat? I mean, you look at this table, uh, th there's a lot of products here that are, that people eat every day. You know what, we actually found things in every single aisle of the grocery store that didn't have sugar, that didn't have any of these potentially dangerous ingredients, and that's why we wrote Rich Food Poor Food. We went down every single aisle and pointed parents and pointed people and said, these are good products, these are bad products, and this is how you can stay safe. It's good to have a book like this because, you know, I think people, uh, it, I have young children, you don't spend the time, even though I advocate reading labels, it's hard to get through that and find yeah. all those preservatives, so it's nice to have a, a book like this to, to to help guide people. Yeah, we do every aisle of the grocery store. There's cereals, there's candy bars, there's ice cream in the book. And of course, it's free of all these ingredients. It's plus free of the beaver yes. stuff. Free of the beaver secretions okay. and everything else. Hey, look, it's, it's great to have you guys on the program. Well, thank, oh, you, no, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Now, you might wonder, looking at all that, why are these ingredients even allowed? Well, we decided to call the FDA about this, and they say, look, we're always studying the latest science. But based on what we know now, all these products are safe to eat, at least in the quantities that you'll find them on the shelves.